Welcome to my channel. My name is Myony if you are new here and today's video is going to be all about some IKEA hacks. It's been a while since I've shared some IKEA hacks with you and these are my favourite videos to make. So if you haven't done so already, check out the playlist. I will leave that link down below because I have all of my old hacks in that playlist. And if you do like these videos, there might be another one coming up next week as well. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and stay informed of all of my future videos. Today I'm going to be sharing four DIYs with you, so let's get into it. For this project you'll need an inexpensive rug from Ikea, these cost £1.90, they're super cheap, so start by cutting off the tassels on either side of the rug, then you can lay it out flat. To create two baskets, cut the rug lengthways and you can use the lines already on the rug as guidelines, I decided to make one basket slightly smaller than the other. Fold your piece of rug right sides together down the middle and then mark about a centimetre or half an inch of seam allowance on the open side. Then between this point and the folded edge you want to then find the middle of the rug. Now we're going to make small slits up until this line here. You can pick whichever line you want depending on how big you want your basket to be but I chose this line as a reference so I did it at the folded edge and at the middle point that we marked earlier. Make sure you cut through both sides of the rug for this. And then be sure to make that same cut on one side at the seam allowance and then just cut this small piece out so it's not in the way. Then you can either use hot glue or you can stitch this with a running stitch and a very thick needle and thread and you can close up that seam that we made earlier. Fold it the right way out and you'll see you have a basket taking place. You can then fold the flaps at the bottom to come together. Again, you can use hot glue or stitch this if you would like, but the hot glue sticks really well because the nature of the fabric is quite thick. So go ahead and add your glue or stitch and go and put those pieces into place. Once you've done that, you can put the basket right side up and you can see it's totally taking place. The last thing you have to do is fold the edges over to give it a nice clean folded look. And as you can see, I have one slightly big basket and a smaller one too. This is a great craft project to try because it's so easy, anyone can do it. And I think they make a statement without being too difficult of a craft project to make. To make this braided light cable, you will just need a light cable from Ikea. I got this around Christmas time, but they should do them year round. And you'll also need some thick rope. Start by using a small dab of hot glue to attach the rope at the end of the light cable. Make sure it's not gonna go anywhere and it's perfectly in place. Then you're going to want to take that first piece of rope and put it over the string of the light cable. Take the end of the rope and pull it underneath the light cable. As you pull it through, you'll notice that this is making a knot. It's very simple and it honestly doesn't take very long. I actually used to make braided friendship bracelets this way. Super easy and it doesn't take long at all. So you're just gonna keep going with the same process. Make sure you do it on the same side every time. So place the rope on top and then pull the rope through the loop underneath the cable and pull it tight. It doesn't look like much at first, but once you've been going for a little while, you'll see it all come together. And this is what it starts to look like at that point. And trust me when I say it doesn't take very long at all. I did about half the light cable in about 10 minutes and I decided to stop there and just have it going along half the cable. It also took two packets of rope, which was seven meters of seven millimeter diameter rope. So you'll need about 14 meters at the least to make it this length. Once you've finished, go ahead and hang it up and display your hard work. I think this would look really great if it was using some kind of other more rustic twine as well, or any kind of thick string or rope material. Definitely don't use a very thin string for this or it will take you forever. Please 
splatter plates and bowls are so simple to make so just get a glass plate or bowl from Ikea, they're really inexpensive, take the sticker off and clean the bottom of it and then go ahead and splatter using a paintbrush, any colours of paint that you would like. For the gold I'm using Project Enamel because this is a very shiny metallic finish but for the blue one I'm using just a regular old acrylic paint. Go ahead and leave this to dry and when it's fully dry you can coat the bottom of the plate with a thin layer of spray paint in whatever colour you choose. I decided to go with white so that the colours would really pop and I also made a bowl version of this too with some black and gold splatter print. I think this would look really fun with some bright colours as well so if you guys do decide to make this do show me how you made it and what you did with it maybe tag me on Instagram or show me on Twitter I'd love to see how it turned out and finally I wanted to show you guys some more hacks these are not necessarily DIYs but they are IKEA products and they've been repurposed to be used in a different way so the first is these glasses from the kitchenware section, they're really inexpensive but they make really nice succulent pots or pots for any kind of cactus or flowers that you might have. And these awesome little cardboard organisers make really cute shelves for really small and lightweight knickknacks. You can display them horizontally or vertically and you could actually pop them on the wall with some command hooks if you wanted. Just make sure to use some hot glue on those inside edges if you want to put anything heavy on them. That is everything for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you make any of these, don't forget to tag me on Instagram or share it with me on Twitter. I would love to see what you guys come up with. And as always, I hope you're having a great week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.